If you build a skyscraper in Pudong, Shanghai in the 1990s, you can show the world China's determination to reform and open up. To reflect the oriental charm, you take inspiration from the cascading shape of ancient Chinese dense rock towers and design the building as a stepped contour that rises up 13 times, like a silver tower that pierces into the sky, embodying the concept of the unity of heaven and man in our country's traditional culture. But like the impact of tofu, the planes cannot bear such a huge weight. So you drive hundreds of concrete piles into the ground, reaching the hard soil layer, and pour a huge concrete platform on it as the foundation of the entire building. In order to make the building stand firmly and withstand the thrust of wind and earthquakes, you built a solid octagonal steel and concrete core barrel in the center of the building and symmetrically set up eight giant reinforced concrete columns and eight corner columns around it, forming a rigid and flexible barrel and barrel structure. If you add three overhanging transverse frames on the outside of the building and connect them with the outer saw columns as a whole, even in strong winds, the connection points of the overhanging transverse frames can disperse the force and fundamentally improve the building's wind and earthquake resistance. To solve the vertical traffic problem, you can configure an elevator that can reach 9 meters per second in the core bucket and reach the panoramic observation hall on the top 88th floor in only 45 seconds. Congratulations on inventing Shanghai Jinmao Tower on...